Hello everyone. In the previous video, I have explained what is super keyword and use of super keyword with variable and use of super keyword with method. If you haven't watched previous video, then you can watch it out on a link provided in the description of this video. Okay. And in this video, I am going to explain use of super keyword with constructor. And then I will explain rules to remember about super keyword. Okay all i will explain in this tutorial so just keep watching till end you will clearly understand it so let's get started so here in the previous session i have created one super class and it's a car having one instance variable which has value 4 and create one method and it's apply break method and create one subclass and it's a sports car having one instance variable number of doors which has value and here I have override superclass apply break method into its subclass. And here I have create show method in which I have explained how we can use super keyword with variable and how we can use super keyword with method. This part already I have explained in previous tutorial. And I am going to continue with this example to explain how we can use super keyword with constructor. So just keep watching. So first I will explain how we can use super keyword with constructor implicitly and then I will explain how we can use super keyword with constructor explicitly. Okay. So let's understand. So for that first of all we will need to create constructor. So let's create it in super class and constructor name must be a class name. Okay. And let's print here this is super class constructor. This is super class constructor. So here I have create super class non parameterized constructor. Now let's create constructor in subclass. And let's print here this is subclass constructor. And now I want to call both the constructors, superclass constructor and subclass constructor. So for that, I will need to create superclass object to call superclass constructor and subclass object to call subclass constructor, right? Because constructors automatically get called at the time of object creation. So first let's create superclass that is car class object inside man method. Car C equals to new car and subclass object I have already created and let me comment out this line because this part already I have explained in previous session in this video we are only going to focus on constructors and now if I run this code then the first statement inside main method will execute so this statement will execute and this non-parameterized constructor get call and will invoke this constructor then program control come to this and this is superclass constructor will print on console after that control come over here and subclass object that is sports car class object will create and this non parameterized constructor get call and will invoke this constructor then program control come to this and this is subclass constructor will print on console then control come back over here and program will terminate so the output will be this is superclass constructor and this is subclass constructor right so let's check it out let's run the code let's see but here we have got unexpected output because we expect only these two lines should be there on console as an output so what about this line so if we notice here superclass constructors output print two time right it means superclass constructor get call two time so question comes that how this happened right so let's understand what happened internally so at the time of execution first this statement will execute okay and superclass object will create and this superclass non parameterized constructor get call and will invoke this constructor and then control come to this and this is superclass constructor will print on console you can see here on console clear up to this all right then program control come to this and this subclass object will create and this subclass non parameterized constructor get call and will invoke this constructor. 
Now pay attention here. When program control come inside subclass constructor, then inside subclass constructor compiler internally or implicitly put super keyword with parenthesis and it represent super class non parameterized constructor. But remember, if we put this super keyword explicitly, then compiler won't put it implicitly. So whenever subclass constructor get called, then automatically or by default, super class non parameterized constructor also get called implicitly by the compiler. And hence, at the time of execution, when this subclass non parameterized constructor get called, then this non parameterized constructor will invoke. And then compiler will call superclass non-parameterized constructor internally or implicitly and will invoke this superclass non-parameterized constructor and we will get output as this is superclass constructor you can see on console. Then program control come over here and we get output as this is subclass constructor you can see on console. Then program control come back over here and program will terminate. So in this way superclass constructor get called two times. First time at the time of superclass object creation. And second time compiler call it implicitly from subclass constructor. And hence we have got output like this. Now let's run the code again. But before that let's comment out this line. We do not need of it. And this line as well because compiler put it internally or implicitly we do not need to write it explicitly all right now let's run the code let's see you can see here now we have got expected output so always keep in mind if you want to call superclass non-parameterized constructor using super keyword then you do not need to call it explicitly by creating superclass object and all it's automatically get called by the compiler implicitly at the time of compilation. Clear? So this is about how super keyword is used with constructor implicitly. Now let's understand how super keyword is used with constructor explicitly. Okay. Now see here, I have create or declare instance variable number of dots and assign value 4 to it. So basically here I have assigned value to the instance variable at the time of variable declaration. Right. But to assign value to the instance variables at the time of variable declaration is considered as a bad programming practice because it has some drawback and hence Java people introduce the concept of constructor which is used to assign value to the instance variables at the time of object creation. And what is drawback and why we need to use constructor to assign value to the instance variables all I have already covered in Java constructor video. Okay. So basically point is instead of assigning value to the instance variable during variable declaration we can assign value to the instance variable at the time of object creation using constructor so let's create constructor which will take one integer type parameter and its total number of door and right here number of doors equals to total number of doors and print here number of dots so this is superclass parameterized constructor and now let's create superclass object to call this constructor here I have already created just remove this comment and pass here integer type value because this constructor is taking integer type parameter right and it's 4 okay pass here 4 and let's remove this value from here because we are going to assign value to the instance variable from here at the time of object creation and when I will execute this program then at the time of execution this superclass object will create and this parameterized constructor get call and will invoke this parameterized constructor and the value 4 will assign to this local variable total number of doors and then will assign to this instance variable number of doors and will print on a screen now let's run the code let's see. you can see a number of doors are four so in this way we can assign value to the instance variables using constructor now coming to the point okay so 
so here i have create superclass parameterized constructor and to call this constructor i have create superclass object but imagine in case of large program there are multiples parameterized constructors are available in superclass and to call all that constructors you will need to create multiple superclass objects right so basically point is if there are multiple constructors are available in superclass then to access them or to call them we will need to create multiple superclass objects and jvm will allocate memory to each and every object and due to this memory issue may creates as well as it can affect performance of a program right so here java says that why are you creating superclass object to call superclass constructor instead of you can do it using super keyword also without creating superclass object that means you can call superclass constructor using super keyword also without creating superclass object so let's understand how we can call superclass parameterized constructor using super keyword so let's write here super keyword with parenthesis and pass here argument or value that will match to the constructor which you have to call and here i want to call this constructor and this constructor taking one integer type parameter and therefore here also i will need to pass integer type parameter and it suppose 4 and it represent superclass parameterized constructor and comment out this line we do not need of it to create superclass object and all because this a superclass constructor is automatically will call from here when this subclass constructor will invoke now let's run the code but before that let's understand execution flow of a program so the execution of java program always start from the main method and first statement inside main method will execute so this statement will execute and subclass object that is sports car class object will create and this non parameterized constructor get call and will invoke this constructor then control come to this and compiler understand that this is superclass constructor and hence compiler look matching for this constructor in superclass that is in car class and will invoke this constructor then this value 4 will set to this a local variable total number of doors and then assign to this instance variable number of doors and then the value of number of doors will print on console that is value 4 will print on console so basically here job of super keyword is to give a call to the superclass constructor and then control come back over here and this is subclass constructor will print on console then control come back over here and program will terminate now let's run the code and let's see you can see here number of doors are 4 and this is subclass constructor so always keep in mind if you want to call superclass non parameterized constructor using super keyword then in that case you do not need to call it explicitly by creating superclass object because compiler will call it implicitly but if you want to call superclass parameterized constructor using super keyword then in that case you will need to call it explicitly like this so in this way we can use super keyword with constructors implicitly as well as explicitly now let's focus on some rules that we should remember about super keyword so first rule is super keyword should always be the first statement in the body of subclass constructor that means let's understand suppose if i write this statement after some code of line suppose if i write here then in that case compiler will raise an error so let's check it out let's run the code you can see here compiler raise an error constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor so always keep in mind superclass constructor call using super keyword should be the first statement in the body of subclass constructor and second rule is a superclass constructor can only be called from the subclass constructor that means we cannot call superclass constructor using super keyword from outside of subclass constructor that means let's understand so first let me comment out this line and remove this comment from here okay all right now see here i have call superclass constructor from subclass constructor using super keyword 
but if i call it from outside of subclass that is suppose if i call it from any method suppose if i call it from this show method and let's call this show method from main method now let's run the code let's see you can see here compiler is an error constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor so always keep in mind you cannot access or call superclass constructor using super keyword from outside of subclass constructor you must have to call it from subclass constructor that's all so this is about how we can use super keyword with constructor and rules about super keyword now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching